You know, I, I see that technology is essentially giving us the practical solutions for all the practical problems right now. So we can solve food, we can solve water, we can solve energy, we can solve disease. We will not solve human problems, political problems, <laughs> equality, uh, you know, with technology, right? The great thing about technology is that we're now at the cusp of being able to solve long-standing problems, for example, food, right? We're going to be able to make food from animals that are not dead, you know, eaten dead, so to speak, but we're actually doing cultured meat and vegan substitutes that are becoming the ticket to the future. So Bill Gates has invested, Richard Branson have invested in cultured meat. I've tested it, I've eaten it, and I'm convinced that in 10 years this will be practically one-tenth of the price of regular meat and completely healthy, organic, no CO2, right? Uh, it's exploding. And the same goes for stuff like vertical farming. You know, if, if we look around the world, Africa, for example, developing countries where there's lots of heat and no water, well, we'll build a high-rise with 40 floors and the bots are going to run the agricultural economy there, but of course the countries themselves can't do that for financial reasons right now. So that would have to be supported by the international community, right? But we can grow vegetables not just on the field, which is nice, you know, organic farming, but in the high-rise, right? And, and this is really expensive now, but this is the future, clearly.